The PowerCube version 7 is a modular box-shaped power unit. It is used as an external engine to power all machines in the Global Village construction set, transferring 27 horsepower via hydraulic, flexible, quick-connect tubes. This video tutorial will present the correct assembly of the PowerCube version 7 once all components have been acquired and fabricated. You will need the following components to complete the PowerCube version 7 assembly. The PowerCube frame, mainly comprised of 12 pieces of steel angle, welded in mitre corner joints. Control panel. Engine interface plate. Master mounting plate. Pump mounting plate. Hydraulic pump with pump coupler and chain coupler. Hydraulic cooler with fan. Hydraulic quick attach hoses and filter. Battery wires and solenoid. Control wires. Lead acid 12 volt battery. 27 horsepower engine with muffler, fitted with engine coupler. Fuel tank. Hydraulic fluid tank. These should have welded latches to connect to the power cube frame. To recap, that's the pump mounting plate, engine mounting plate, control panel, master mounting plate, engine, hydraulic pump, hydraulic cooler, hydraulic tubes and filter, battery wires and solenoid, control wires, 12 volt battery, fuel tank, and hydraulic fluid tank. In this instructional, we will be facing the control panel of the power cube, with the hydraulic cooler on the left and the battery on the right. To help clarify orientation, sides of the power cube will be described as north, east, south, or west facing. First, add the reservoirs, with the hydraulic tank facing west and the fuel tank facing east. When inserting the tanks, ensure each mount fits over the steel plate and is pushed down firmly. Use a hammering tool if necessary to ensure a tight fit. Next, add the master mounting plate. This will fit onto four bolts on top of the tanks with the solenoid mount over the fuel tank. Screw the four nuts securely and ensure the plate is level. Next, attach the engine interface plate to the base of the engine by bolting on the four side holes. Then, fit the engine coupler through the plate's hole. Now we're ready to mount the engine into the power cube. Lift the engine and lower it into the frame so the muffler is facing north. The two bolts from the engine interface plate will fit into the two holes in the master mounting plate. Next, Attach the pump mounting plate to the base of the master mounting plate. Ensure the engine coupler is attached to the base of the engine and screw two nuts securely onto both bolts. Now, attach the engine coupler to the pump coupler using the double chain coupler. This must be fitted around the sprockets of both couplers and secured with the master link. Now we're ready to mount the hydraulic pump. While one person lifts the frame, slide the hydraulic motor under the hydraulic plate. Connect the fitting, then secure the pump using two bolts, ensuring the pivoting hydraulic output fitting is facing southwest. Connect the thick hydraulic tube to the northeast intake fitting of the pump and secure the other end of the tube to the hydraulic tank. 
tighten with hose clamps to prevent leakage. Now we're ready to mount the hydraulic cooler. Place the four rubber screw mounts into the corner fittings of the hydraulic cooler and bolt them to the mesh on the west side of the frame. Ensure the hydraulic cooler wafers are against the mesh and the fan is on the inside. Next, mount the hydraulic tube with return line filter fitting to the top of the hydraulic tank. Fit the other end of the tube to the hydraulic cooler fluid outlet. Screw these fittings tightly, then screw in the hydraulic filter. Now we're ready to mount the electric components. First, insert the battery to the welded mount on the fuel tank, ensuring the negative terminal is facing north. Next, mount the solenoid to the welded mount on the east-facing side of the master mounting plate, securing it with two bolts. Now, take the long red wire and bolt one end to the north-facing terminal on the solenoid, and the other end to the positive terminal of the battery. Next. Connect the small red wire to the south-facing solenoid terminal and the other end to the engine starter terminal. Finally, connect one end of the long black wire to the frame and the other to the negative terminal on the battery. Next, take the control wires and plug them into the engine wires. Then, take the two fan power wires and attach them to the fan. Black to black, blue to red. Finally, Take the red solenoid starter wire and connect to the east-facing terminal of the solenoid. Now that the electric components are connected, we're ready to mount the control panel. The control panel, from right to left, holds the key switch, throttle lever, hydraulic return, low pressure hydraulic return, and the hydraulic output. First, attach the thick hydraulic output tube from the control panel to the hydraulic pump. Next, connect the low pressure hydraulic return to the hydraulic tank fitting. Now, attach the female key switch plug from the control wire onto the male key switch. Next, connect the hydraulic return pipe to the control panel and south facing hydraulic cooler input. Finally, attach the throttle control cable to the engine. Your power cube is now complete.